live from the fifth floor of the Ravenclaw Tower in the Ravenclaw Tower Room at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Where do I come in? I thought you were going to come in with the title. Ooh, this is, do you oh, know two know filthy this? nerds! Yeah, do not know the I name of the book. I thought you wanted podcast. me to say the name of the book. No. Wow. Wow. You're... I'm a fucking moron. Woo! We're Ravenclaws. We're the smartest Welcome. house in the school. Welcome. Welcome to Two Filthy Nerds, you fucking nerds. Yeah, because we're filthy, and we're nerds, and there's two of us. Whatever Sometimes is. more, depending on her mental unwellness. And, and who's my... haunting us? Yeah, ugh. Do you feel like we're a haunted, a haunted pair? I Who mean, would be haunting us? I don't know, the ghost of your abortion? <laughs> Like reeking around, I would be uterus, really annoyed. Like, I would be like really thieves. annoyed. You know that would be a very attractive ghost. That would be a it's mixed, a mixed 100% baby ghost. Hundred percent peeves the poltergeist. Peeves, peeves, yeah, peeves, yeah. My abortion was a mixed baby, and you think it would come out looking like peeves? <laughs> oh, you think it was a baby? That's <laughs> it was a pile of cells, and now it's somewhere looking like peeves. Yeah. Just Oh shit! Oh shit! It's a mixed ghost. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like somebody. There's a black comedian who has a really great bit about how there's no black ghosts. It's always just like some creepy white yeah. child haunting. I can't remember who it is. Fuck! If anyone knows, let us know. Anyway, I want to say it's. You're fucking treading thin ice trying to guess who it is. Why would that be? I. You know, do all black comics sound alike now? No, I'm just saying, like, if I guess the wrong white comic, people will be like, she must have gotten confused. If us people, two women who look very Karen y, go, I think it was this comic, people aren't going to let it be a regular mistake. They're going to be like, you're racist. Speaking of us looking like Karens, who do you think looks more Karen y, me or you? Um, well, uh, you're checking yourself out in the reflection. Which is, feels very Karen-y. I, I mean, I feel like glasses are a very Karen-y thing. Am I wrong? Is that unfair to Karens? I don't know. But you have the shoulder-length hair of a Karen. My hair is not shoulder-length. My hair is tit-length and greasy right now. So it's all mapped up. Okay. So right? <laughs> Karens would never be greasy. You're a trashy Karen. Yeah. I, which is called a Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, let's bitch. We're running our mouths. That's the segment. You guys know running it our out. two filthy mouths. Are you guys ready? Strap it. Strap up and strap one on because you're about to fuck somebody in the butthole. It'd be really weird to find out people fuck to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, I like to make love to two filthy nerds, but only when I'm pegging. Only listen. If we're not the soundtrack for your pegging, we're doing this wrong. Yeah. I'm going to be really disappointed. It is weird to think of someone just aggressively thrusting into their lover as we're like, oh, what's Dumbledore up to? Oh. Uh, speaking of Dumbledore, um, we have, the two of us think far too much about Dumbledore's balls. I mean, ever since we made the comment of them dangling under the broom, it's like, are they mystical? Is Trelawney studying them in one of her courses? Yeah, it's like, yes, shove the crystals aside. Why does he know everything? What yeah. are the balls he gazes into? Yeah, we, let's read his balls, all yeah. right? Let's oh. gaze into those mystical balls. Yeah, like instead of reading the lines on a hand, she's just reading the wrinkles on his sack. She's <laughs> like, she's like, uh, she can only read them with her tongue. She's like, uh. Oh, yeah, she's like, uh, isn't there Teabagging, teabagging. No, what? that it can like sense with its tongue. An animal. Oh, aardvarks. And then she's just like, oh, the art. end is nigh! <laughs> <laughs> She starts choking. Tilani, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I bet she's asexual. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know. Imagine fucking someone and then they all of a sudden fucking start channeling. Yeah, she just the dark lord returned tonight. As someone's inside. By the way, you. that's how I imagine you coming. I mean, yeah, no, that is how I come. You're just like. Ugh, yeah. ugh, ugh. The end is near for all of us. We are doomed as a human race. Uh, what happened? I blacked out. Where was I? Uh, Why'd okay. you go limp? Um, what happened to your wand? We're both going limp here. Uh, okay. D despite what we've led you to believe, we're not 
complaining about Dumbledore's balls. No. no complaints. We, what yeah. we really want to do is complain about the fireworks. Situation. Fucking fireworks. Going across, by the way, I from what I understand, it's horrible in New York. I saw videos last night from 4th of July in New York. It is Ugh. truly, if you are a war vet and you aren't having horrible <clears throat> PTSD, I'm drinking soda. Uh, if you're not having, oh, it's garlicky. When did I eat garlic? It's you always worrisome. Garlic? When you burp and taste garlic and you didn't have garlic. I eat so much garlic that it's worrisome when I burp and don't taste garlic. I'm like, yes, I'm dying. Wait, you eat garlic? A lot of garlic? Are you being sarcastic? No, I just I feel like my body odor this. probably smells like garlic. But since you have no Trader Joe's to garlic smell dip? Anything, never had it. <gasps> it's <gasps> what? <gasps> it's the greatest ever. That's fun. Make fun of my horse teeth. You're a bully. My front teeth are way bigger than yours. Look We're at not me. having a big teeth off. No. Your mouth is bigger, so they show up more. I have big mm. teeth in a small mouth. It is it's jarring. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. Because when my mouth's closed, you don't expect it. And then, <laughs> Gotcha! Uh, you guys can see this on YouTube, by the way. We have a YouTube channel. If you want to just hear the exact same thing, but see it for some reason, we've got a great setup here in the common room. Let's get back yeah, to the Yeah, well, really quick, let's plug this new commons room. Okay, um, commons room. We set common room, sorry, for commons zing. Whatever, we're in the commons room. We're common. We set it up. We're common bitches. This is you our basic new bitches. We're common, common cunts. Bitch. We're common cunts. <laughs> okay. That is true. Common cunts. That's our new t shirt. Yeah. All right. Would anyone buy a Would common cunts? Common cunts. T shirt? C -C. Basic bitches, common cunts. Um, move over, basic bitches. We're common cunts. Anyways, for those who are not watching, just so you know, we're on a lovely couch. We've got the Ravenclaw throw. We've got, We've got four of the illustrated copies Harry of Harry Potter. Balls. The full paperback collection. A little Hogwarts, uh, what are these things called? A pen, a pen, a pen, pen it's not pentagram, but that's what pen I want to say. Pen the little triangle uh -huh. things uh -huh. and the sorting hat sitting on the And then a nice book. Uh, blue, uh, white uh, gradient backdrop. And of course, our new mascot, uh, our Omega. Owl. owl. This is our Owl Omega. Omega, which this is probably, honestly, if you're watching, this is what Errol looks like. This guy has been through the ringer. But yeah. this is Ravenclaw, bitch. So you're not Errol, you're Omega. A gift from my little sister in the Chi Omega sorority who got it from her mother. That's who was a why Omega. we call it Omega. Yeah, and I'm not sure, but uh, this could become in the back. I feel like it looks like it's been sewn up. Oh, my God. Didn't this was like a drug one... mule. Don't come for us, CIA. You smell anything? I was like, oh, keep sniffing. <laughs> Woo! Let's yes! go! Yes! Speaking of fireworks, let's start a fireworks stand. <laughs> okay. It's been going on for a month. It's Months. Been, like... But yesterday, 4th of July, was... Well, people just leveled up to yeah. a level... I, I, You know what? I thought it was going to be bad. I even stopped and picked up CBD for my dog because I thought it was going to be bad. My God, I didn't even come close to how, like... It was a war zone. War I literally was an watching... actual war zone. I was watching from a place... I, a friend of mine had a few guests over for a socially distant... He's got a brand new house with a big old outdoor house in the balcony. Hills, like, she was so far up, homelessness was a myth. And I was like, ugh, I can't even see poverty from here. But I know it's down there, and I and hope it catches fire. And <laughs> gets, every, every firework so on my like, eye. Oh, these people of the Those people. Those people down there. Can you ugh, let them burn? No, but from up there, you, you could see it going off. Like It was like watching bombs go off all over the yeah. city because you're above it. And you're above it. I was above all of this. I'm, I'm always <laughs> above it. And now I'm literally above it. Yeah. And literally, figuratively above the commoners in the valley. Common just touch. looked like the city was exploding. And yeah. you're right here. You are in our apartment. In, I was here in the apartment. In the thick of it. And it sounded so rapid fire. I remember uh, I called my mom to be like, you have to hear this because... It's, it was so crazy to me. And she's and like, like, Nikki, I can't hear a thing. She's like, Nikki, move home. You're a loser. I don't want you <laughs> dying in Los Angeles. A loser. Nikki, All move. you do. The fucking contrarianness of saying move home so you're not a loser. <laughs> the, 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 
way my mom feels about me from day to day is truly astounding. She could wake up in the morning and think, my God, my daughter has so much talent. She got it all from me. And then by the end of the day, she's like, come on, give up, give up. No one loves you like I love you and I barely love you. <laughs> no one loves you. Ah! That's so sad. Uh, my mom finally. Uh, uh, her mom's moving back. To the my mom is at the thrilled. age of uh, maybe you could just move back home. <laughs> and part of me is like, I think it's just our parents getting old and lonely deep down. Yeah. They're, they're, they're like, just, well, who's going to install the new mailbox? Because that's my mom's newest conundrum. Who's going to teach me how to read my email? I can't read my pills. Who's going to change my diapers? Uh, you are. You bitch. You. I mean, I've done it. Well, let me tell you right now, you guys. You know, have enough about... money so that you can hire someone to change your parents' Yeah, diapers. if you do nothing else, do that. And if you're someone who doesn't want kids, work hard enough that you can hire someone. You're going to sit in your own doo-doo. What happens to those people? You, I have to... I have Are there, to... like, low-income nursing homes that people just get, like, shuffled yeah, into? Yeah, I mean, I they think... They can't be good. They... <sighs> God, so sad. Th uh, this is so. Sad. I actually, my stomach is churning, and it might be the amount of coffee I've. Drank Maybe this should be a separate. Hour. We should come back to this for a whole separate. Yeah, session. yeah, for a whole it's separate. Too heavy. Session. Too. Way and too heavy. not that way we're not about getting heavy. We just need to get heavy about the fireworks. Yeah, and not heavy because we've been eating nonstop for the past four days. Four days. Uh, I've been eating nonstop for the past four, four months. Days. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm almost the size of this couch. That's not even close. You guys have eyes. You can see that. But, but she does have boobs. Yeah, and I ain't wearing no bra. She, I grew boobs. That's you not wearing a bra? Yeah. Your boobs are really hard. Do I have cancer? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst way to find this out. This would be a very cancer. Oh, yeah. If what I have it? a lump and it's in the small boob, I'm letting it take me just so I can die with even tits. <laughs> bury, me, bury me with my tits pushed up in a bra. I'm like, oh, she died. She doing died what doing she what she loves. loves. Finally having decent tits. <laughs> <laughs> and cover them in like glitter just that like oily stripper or it's just like kind I'm of gonna greasy. contour the shit out of your tits yeah, just, I come dude. in I come into the to the who does the morgue morgue mor I know but like who is the person who like Jamie preps the Lee dead Curtis bodies in my girl the person who preps the bodies is that what she did I want That's you to make sure they give me a perm and whore's makeup I but I'm, mean I'm, that but when you're dead I can I only mean, refer to it as a permanent I mean the cartoon Fucking, I shouldn't have said horror. It's whatever, but it's fine. No, I want you. I I'm gonna give you fucker. um, what was that movie? Um, Steel Magnolias, like the the makeup that they wore in Steel Magnolias. Like that's the kind of yeah. Movie. I want curly southern, green. yes, southern like '90s country mm -hmm. singer hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolly Parton hair. and just tits, tits up, tits to Jesus, tits, tits to Jesus, tits to the sky. And then Movies in the sky. I'm gonna contour. Guys. I'm gonna contour even more cleavage. You are definitely wearing a plunging V in your coffin. Yeah, and if I don't, un I don't know how nipples work post mortem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they go hard like the rest of you, because mm -hmm. you know rigor mortis. But if not, could you just get some like erasers? Yeah, I'll I want like, nipples. I'll my make outfit. sure. I'll make sure the turkey's fucking done. Um, uh, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to cut out an area where they can see your plus, like a viewing area, so they can see the lucky you. J just one little hole. So just a, just a little hole. Um, so everybody can, and then people can they can come to the gonna, coffin gonna, and gonna, they rest this, they rest their hand on it and they go. We would. We would. Yeah. But it's also gonna be the your your lucky slow your slow down tattoo right next to the lucky you. <laughs> and it's like so I'm, you're gonna, I'm gonna she should have I'm gonna Alpha you. <laughs> just, just but but I'm gonna I'm gonna like glue your your yeah. fingers like they're on your clip. Oh my god! So it's gonna be like slow down. Someone tries to pull it off and rips my finger off. <laughs> my mom's like, get the, get up. I love that I picture my mom being there because I'm going to die young. Off. Um, Let's talk about the real suffering here. My mother. Uh, fireworks. Fireworks. Fucking, we're all over the place. What? What? Why? Well, Who enjoys anything as much as the people of Los Angeles enjoy fireworks? I mean, it's disturbing because it's just like, Look, I get it. You want to celebrate our shitty country or you want to, like, piss off the cops maybe is why you're doing it. It's lawless here. There was no big fireworks show because everyone shut This isn't out. about the country. They are doing this all year long, first and foremost, in this neighborhood. Our fireworks are going on Just every single Just Angelinos night. going but, crazy. But this past month, it has been out of fucking control. Yeah, like, I'm like, is there some bigger message here or are people just, like, so... 
pent up. I and think they're it's like, a pent up thing. They're like, I just need to make something explode. Pent up and bored. And it's just like something to fucking do. You said something earlier. You're like, maybe because there were no, we weren't allowed to celebrate the 4th of July. All 4th Beaches of July were closed. Like, so there's no big city. You know, the yeah. cities do big things yeah. like the beach. So maybe all of the uh, all of the fun celebratory options were taken away. So now what? People were just going buck wild and taking it upon themselves to really set it off. Yeah, how many people were like, the community can count on me? How many people out there thought that they would be the? You know, it's like those '90s Christmas movies where there was like Christmas light wars. Yeah. How many neighborhood dads oh. were like, I'm not going to let my city down. I'm going to have the biggest, baddest fireworks show yeah. this town has ever seen. Oh, you think Aaron Hernandez at the end of the... I don't know why I call him Aaron Hernandez, but I love... The, I mean... The murderer? God, from the murderer. Galt- uh-huh. The Ravens? Um, I want to make him the bad guy in the scenario. Aaron Hernandez is like, I'm not going to have anyone on my street out do me. Because I feel like if Aaron Hernandez were alive, and he lived in our neighborhood, he would go hard. No, I feel like he would wait till there were explosions to murder people because he yeah, can't yeah, murder yeah. people during. He the would process. go hard as a cover for murdering. People. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't. In any case, I feel like this bitch sesh was definitely more about other things, but I'm really happy we briefly touched on. It's just like if if you cannot do it, no one's gonna listen to this. No one's going to. They're they're gonna be like fuck you. Here's what I saw is like. For a day that's celebrating the country, this is not what I saw, but this is a thought I had. For a day that's celebrating the country, people sure do not give a fuck about vets today. Not at all. Because nothing- This is the last thing vets want. Yeah, it's a PTSD trigger. And I saw someone post on Twitter, I think it was Baron Vaughn, and I could be wrong, but it was, it said, you know, my, my veteran father with PTSD just wants to let you guys know how much he, how grateful he is for all the fireworks. And one woman commented, you know, I know it's probably a lot on other days, but he should sort of expect this for 4th of July. And someone responded what my thought was. And it's like, yeah, that's not how PTSD works. No. You can't stop your triggers just because you know a loud noise is coming. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, yeah. that's not how PTSD, like, you cannot stop a trigger with PTSD. Oh, you want me to rationalize my trauma? <laughs> Why did I think of that? My oh, God. God. <laughs> Never mind. I'm fine. You know what? I'm going to just stop seeing a psychiatrist entirely. Oh, <laughs> this emotional support dog, send it back. No longer need it. I I'm just fine. needed to think rationally about the affliction I have from doing seven tours of duty in Nam. I, yeah, I just needed to go, oh, I shouldn't be upset. <laughs> I bet. What was I thinking? Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Susan, on the internet. Oh, my goodness. All these years of scholars studying PTSD, and it was really just Susan in Akron, Ohio, that put it all together. Yeah, uh, who knew all I really needed to do was just knock it off. <laughs> oh, knock it off. Cut it out. Quit it. I'm going to open my own fireworks stand. You know what? Now that I know it's just my mindset. Yes, a fireworks stand. That's my new business. Finally, a career for me. Uh, all the vets are going to pile on to this business Veteran model. fireworks. <laughs> also, Vet- vets for... Vets for... Uh, I'm trying to think of a name of firework, but I don't know any of... Vets for... All I know is... Uh, vets be poppin'. Russian, what are those things called? Roman candles. Roman, uh, Roman vet candles. Oh, that's what war is that? You know what? Even? I want. I I wanted Didn't this. Rome to, fall? I wanted this to be more <laughs> clever, and it's just not working. Um. Anyway, my dog shit herself. So if we could just yeah, keep her dog up. shit herself, and my dog, I think I'm gonna give a big shout out to Tail Waggers. Is that Franklin Village? It's where I stopped to get CBD oil for Buddy, and it helped. Holy mother of God. If you, that's great. I need to try that for the dog. I put it in Moki's food already. I already yeah. dosed your well, dog. Well, Moki, you dosed my dog? I dosed your Ari dog. Shafir. I already Shafir'd your dog. Ah. Uh, because uh, your dog has previously had some freak Oh, yeah, so. dude. Maybe four years ago, I went out and I was like, oh, my dog will be fine. I left him in my room. I turned on a white noisemaker. I turned on music on my TV. I fully set it up. I was like, oh, he's going to be fine. Closed the windows, you know, made it as dark and tranquil as possible. And I came home to my dog stuck under my bed because he broke underneath the bed and then went underneath the bed, broke the frame. The frame trapped, dropped down, trapped him underneath the bed. 
he clawed up every single thing underneath my bed. But before he got under there, he tried clawing his way out of my door and I'm missing chunks of paint on my door and the frame around my door from when he did that. I mean, it's really traumatic for dogs, but the CBD, not only did he not destroy anything, he wasn't even shaking and usually he shakes. He wasn't shaking. His ears were alert. So obviously it doesn't make him deaf. He still knows that the sounds are going off, but no shaking. That's fucking, I mean, that's a, a miracle. Yeah. Fucking miracle. If my patent for these dog earmuffs comes through. Duffs. Dog earmuffs. Duffs. We'll be Duff, millionaires. Duff your dog. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. It's just fucking, Why? What do you guys think? Comment below if you're on YouTube. Let us know. Follow us on Tweet Instagram, Twitter. Tweet us if you Twitter. want to talk shit with us. Yeah, at Two Filthy Nerds. We're there on Twitter and Instagram. We also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Two Filthy Nerds for more bonus content. Also, if there's anything you want us to go off on, if there's any topics that you're like, yo, what, we want this hot take from these bitches. Don't let us know. Bitches, but yeah, no, we're not bitches. We're, we're common, common cunts. Anyways, uh, We'll be right back to start the beginning of the appropriately titled for this rant, uh, Goblet of Fire. Are you sucking a dick? That's no, I'm sucking Dumbledore's balls. Ooh, no. Dear God.